Welcome to my channel Living Linux. Today I'm going to show you the new Debian image for the Vision 5.2 and we have some exciting updates. So here we have the forum and as you can see there is a new Debian image 2023.06 And you can download it from this website. And in my case, I went with OneDrive. And then you go to the 2023-06 directory. And then you can download the versions for either the EMMC or the NVMe SSD or the micro SD card. And here's also the script to download the packages like Firefox, Chromium and VLC, LibreOffice. So I'm not going through the whole installation process. Um, I will leave a link to my earlier videos, uh, especially the 03 release, where I also used links to download some stuff because before you um, get the packages, you don't have Firefox. Um, or you need to have that script already available on the image itself. So if you have a Linux machine and you've written the image, then you can immediately make the partition as large as possible, but it's also possible to do it when you've started the image. And once you've done that, then you need to execute the script. So you can put the script uh, already on your let's just say micro SD card or your EMMC or NVMe SSD. So, but I will leave a link to those two videos in the description of the video. Now, there have been some people that ask me like, how is the performance with Firefox? And I think it has improved, but now that we also have the option of Chromium, the best performance, well, in my experience, usually is with Chromium. But I'll show you the Big Buck Bunny video in YouTube in Firefox. So it's 480p, VP9 codec. And as you can see, it's already dropping frames even just on 480p. So that's a bit of a pity with Firefox, but um, we do see improvements with every release and we don't have the full access to the GPU yet, so it will probably get a lot better in the future. Uh, I also tried to test OpenLara, but... Um, Let's just say after a minute, I still didn't see the game, so I just gave up. Uh, perhaps you have more patience than I do. But let's move to Chromium. So here we have Chromium. So 
So let's try open Lara. It will take a while before it really starts. So here it is. Let's press enter. And we want to start a new game. And here we have Open Lara. It's not very smooth. Um, yeah, probably if you really want to play it, it's doable, but I, th yeah, in my opinion, it's probably better just to, uh, wait until we get, uh, some more performance improvements. And we can also do... YouTube with oops Big Buck Bunny So we have the stats for nerds So as you can see, Chromium is also struggling with it. We have 480p, VP9 codec. So perhaps we need to play around with some flags, but um, I think that we still don't have the um, hardware video decoders active. So. Um, let's see, let's pause this one, so let's do the WebGL Aquarium test. So we let it fully load. So 500 fishes, we get around 11 frames per second in Chromium. So let's get back to Firefox. So we're also going to run the WebGL Aquarium. We also let it fully load. So it looks like it's fully loaded now and on Firefox we only get 5 frames per second. So Chromium is twice as fast with this test. Now the last thing I want to show you is VLC. And you have to change some settings. No, nope, that's not the one I wanted. I wanted to have the preferences. So if you go to video, you have to change the output to OpenGL for embedded systems too. And when you 
show all the settings. Let's see, where was it? Um, oh yeah, the video codex. So preferred decoder list, you need to fill in FFmpeg. And there was one more thing. Well, mm, let's see, let's get back. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, it's here. You have to activate full screen. So I downloaded a local copy of Big Buck Bunny. There's some distortion in the screen. And uh, yeah, probably they will work on it to make it more stable and that you're not forced to watch in full screen, that you can also try to watch it in windowed mode. Because if we go back, oh, well, it goes, also works in windowed mode, but the suspicion is, is that if you start in windowed mode, then yeah, it's not able to play the video part. So, so for now, just to be sure, start in full screen mode and then it looks like you can go back to windowed mode. And yeah, they also said that LibreOffice uh, is a bit smoother now. Well, I don't think um, I really need to show you that. Um, I think it's a good improvement that we have Chromium now and also VLC. Uh, yeah, they need to work on the stability, but we're making progress. So that's a good sign. And that also means that I'm looking forward to the next release. So that's all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.